Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing another hike. Uh, this one is an out and back hike, which totals about a little over six miles. Um, I have the map on my phone and uh, yeah, I'm gonna let these guys go ahead of me. Well, they're not coming yet. But this hike is definitely going to be a challenge. Um, it's an out and back hike. There's switchbacks. And it's a lot of uphill climbing. So I'm going to take my time and just enjoy what I see. It starts off with stairs at first. And then that's it. It's game on. So I'm gonna get a little hiking in and I'll come back on. See you guys in a bit. We are still going uphill. Still climbing stairs. Uh, more than likely, since this is a hard hike, I'll probably just get to the second switchback, which is an overlook of a, a beautiful lake, and then turn around and come back. Sorry for my breathing. We do have some elevation gain going on. But look at that. There are bears out here, so I'm gonna pull my bear spray out and I'm gonna wear it. So I'm gonna come back on after I got my bear spray on. Bear spray on, ready to go. Look how beautiful that is. There's my bear spray. I'm not playing no games, it's my knife. When I do these hikes, Sam, I get nervous. But if I'm always nervous and letting that stop me from doing what I want to do, then I would never do anything. Lots of rocks, boulders. I'm gonna buy some hiking boots. Tons of mosquitoes. That's why I wear long sleeves. Because mosquitoes are outrageous. Stopping to take in the beautiful views. I mean, 
those purple flowers. Um, hike is decent so far. I have two bottles of Gatorade, two waters, and uh, the only thing that's irritating about the hike are the boulders. So you gotta be careful. You can easily twist your ankle. This is gorgeous. Look at this hill. Huh. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. I bet it'll a chipmunk. I learned not to feed the animals. I will never do it again. That squirrel was the last animal I'll ever feed out in nature. Look at that drop off. You can hear like water. I mean those views. This is what I like to see. Gorgeous views. And that, well, that was something pretty fast. We're about to hit, I'm about to hit my first mile. I'm doing okay so far. I'm not gonna do the whole six miles. I'm going to get to the first overlook and then turn around because it is dangerous and I don't have hiking boots. Like this part. Look at this part. Look how beautiful that is. A natural spring. All right. out the forest for a bit more boulders oh man look at that we were just in there boulder suck first order of business order hiking boots oh boy we got a long road ahead of us look at all those boulders oh boy Look at that, you fought on there. Game over. I'll see you guys when I'm through crossing this. I want to focus. Man, that rock, those rocks, those boulders, my goodness. 
That was horrible. Left, right, left. Yo, left, right, left. Gotta let the bears know I'm coming. Look at that beautiful. Look at that. Oh, one, two, three, four. Who's picking up your drive on? I hear the choppers coming. Yeah, the chop is coming. They're coming overhead. Coming overhead. They come to get the wounded. Come to get the wounded. They come to get the dead. Come to get the dead. Airborne. Oh, Ranger. Uh, lead the way. Drop on left. Right left. Yo left. Right left. We battling mosquitoes and everything else out here. These boulders. Oh man, I almost fell. Taking a break. Look at those boulders. I still gotta go down there. Ha! Ah, man. These rocks are no joke. My next break, I do. I'm gonna drink some Gatorade. Next break, Gatorade. The mosquitoes are brutal. I took my hoodie off, it was hot. We're coming up on our first switchback. It's where we just turn. And the overlook. Ah, we're almost there. We see this lake route. Oh, these mosquitoes is too is getting unbearable. Oh man. Everybody went to the lake. I'm not going to the lake. I don't have the footwear to get down to the bottom. I've already looked at the map. Ow! Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I'm gonna take a look at I'm gonna take a look at the map real quick. Oh, these mosquitoes are unbearable. Let's look at the map. Recenter. The sign saying the overlook is this way, but the map said I did a wrong turn. So let me just go back and see what the lake if I can see the lake because the map is saying wrong turn. So I'm gonna go back, even though the sign is saying come this way for the overlook, um, we're just gonna follow the map. Okay, we're back on track and uh, it's even worse. But uh, dang it, I wanted to see the, over the overlook. I thought it was that way. All right, we're gonna press forward. We're just gonna keep going till we can't go no more. I still got juice in me. Kinda reminds me of Nevada with all the rocks. Whoa, look at this cliff. Look at that. Ugh. We still gotta go up there. Look at that. I let some hikers pass me because I'm just exhausted. We're almost to the first viewpoint. When we get to the first viewpoint, I'm turning around. We're gonna take a look and see how beautiful it looks. And we're turning around. Now we're on another switchback. See the turn? We're down there. Now we're turning. A turn sometimes be brutal. Take a lot out of you. All right, I'll see you guys at the first viewpoint. Check a look at that. 
we're not at the first viewpoint, but this view is stunning. I had to show you guys. Look at that. Simply amazing. I still have to go up there. Oh, so I'm looking at the map and I didn't realize we already passed the first viewpoint. Ah, uh, oh, it's an optional side lake. That was where I was supposed to go. So never mind. That was the optional side lake. Dang it. And it's starting to rain. Ugh. It's me again. I put my hoodie on this time. The mosquitoes are too wild. I decide to keep going and push through the excuses. So we gotta go up that hill. And uh, yeah. Let's do it. I'm gonna finish it. Get down there. When I say there's a thousand mosquitoes, I'll see you guys in a bit. We're almost there. You see the lake? I can't give up now. Gotta keep going. Look at that lake. And that's stunning. This is what we hike to see. We're almost there. I'm gonna try to get down to the bottom. I'm motivated now. We got another switch back. Another switch back. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is what I hike to see right there. Look at that. Man. Stunning. Another stunning view. Oh my goodness. There's a trillion mosquitoes. I want to get to the bottom, but I mosquitoes is messing with my mental. Is like they're like, don't come down here, this is our land. I'm gonna check the map and see how far I have to go before I at the bottom. Because I've already seen I made the overlook right there, but I kind of want to see what the bottom looks like and if I can get down there. So I'm going to take a look at the map and then go from there. <sighs> Look at that. That's stunning. We're almost there, but these rocks, man, if these rocks weren't here, I would have been done already at the bottom. It is just debilitating, <clears throat> but so far over 1,200 feet of elevation gain, so there's that. Uh, my breathing feels good. I am going down a little bit so I feel a little bit better than when I first started so on the way back it should be a little easy well not easy it'll be a lot on the knees <clears throat> as it is now uh, but this is this is the shit I live for excuse my language but this is it right here man <clears throat> Wish I could do the national parks, but, and show you guys, but I can't do it and show you guys. Look at that, man, it is breathtaking. If I make it down to the bottom, I'm gonna put my feet in the water. We'll have to gauge it and see if I can do it. I will see you guys on the other side, whatever that means. Wow, look at that, amazing, wow, ouch, 
<sighs> we made it. Morning. Good morning. Oh, damn, these rocks. Almost there, fam. I made it. I made it. I did it. All right. Here it is. This is what we hike to see right here. When we get down there, we're gonna check out the total miles coming here. I'm so glad I didn't give up. Uh, you gotta push through those adversities. Oh man, look at that. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's go around this way. Let's go this way. So we can have a little piece of the beach to ourselves. Uh, we're here. Oh, my ankles are sore. My left one especially. Who needs a national park when you have this? You just gotta hike. Some real rough terrain. Oh, sit down right here. Oh, shoes are destroyed but who cares look what we got oh it feels so good down here i can't even describe the feeling it feels so good I'm about to head back, but before I go, I did a total of 3.24 miles so far. You guys look crooked. I always think you guys are crooked. One second. Uh, I did a total so far of 3.24 miles. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, this air feels so good. But it's time to head back because it's starting to rain. So I wanna get back. I'll see you guys at the back of the van. See you guys in a bit. I am back at the van. Oh my God. Total time. Uh, three hours and 36 minutes. Total miles. Uh, six miles, 6.39 miles. Total elevation gain, 1,617 feet. I will screenshot it and put it on the screen for you guys. We're done. And I don't have a headache and I feel good because I was drinking Gatorade the whole time. So now I know on my hikes, I'm not taking water, I'm taking Gatorade. I'm taking water too, but I'm taking Gatorade because Gatorade has the electrolytes in it. I feel so good. Now I'm about to polish off this other Gatorade, polish off a bottle of water, and I'll be good. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Let me uh, get situated. Home sweet home. That's what I hiked right there, that bad boy, that beast. Oh, that was, that was tough. <laughs> that was tough, man.
here's the finished result. I literally did, didn't even feel like cooking today, but I told myself that I'm not gonna go buy any kind of food. As long as I have food in here, I'm gonna cook what I have. So I had a little bit of ground beef left uh, over in the freezer that I wanted to cook up. And I just threw some chopped up tomatoes in there, uh, some black beans. Usually I, I rinse my black beans, but I didn't feel like rinsing them today and I don't have any water uh, in my van. I'm out of water and I already dumped my um, gray tank. So I do need to fill up on water at some point. And then I added some coconut rice. I wanted to try the new, this rice here, this brand, I saw it. And uh, so I wanted to try it. So this is two meals two days worth of food so I'm gonna eat this half and then put the rest up for tomorrow in this same container because if it wasn't for the fact that I cooked two days worth I would have just ate it right out the pan I used um, for the first time I put this on my fruit but I wanted a little bit of flavor <laughs> so I added some tahini and I added a little I added pepper but I didn't add it on camera, but I did add a little bit of pepper, tahini, onion salt, um, pinch of onion salt, just for the onion flavor, because the tahini is already salty, so I didn't want to overdo it. And then garlic powder and paprika is what I put in here. The tomatoes, man, make everything taste so much better. Wish I had some spinach. I think spinach would've went well. First bite goes to you, have that bite right there. My turn. Mm-hmm. It's really good. You don't have to use rice. You could just literally eat the dish without the rice. You could have added the whole can of black beans, uh, rinsed, of course, add the whole can, and then omit the rice, and it's good, too. I'm going to eat the rest of those beans tomorrow. Mm-hmm. This is actually pretty good. I don't know what is making this taste good. Oh, and I used uh, sriracha oil. That's what gives is giving it that kick. I used sriracha oil to cook um, the tomatoes in. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. It's very nice, actually. Mm-hmm. I wish I would have added a couple more tomatoes. I added two small tomatoes, but this is really good. That tastes nice. That paprika, tahini, um, a pinch of onion salt, garlic powder, pepper. That's nice. I can't describe the flavor. It's good. Mm-hmm. You can also put this in a burrito and, and this could be burrito filling. Um, again, just eat a half a serving of rice. Just half everything in half and put it in a burrito and it's still healthy and still good. Mmm. Well, coconut rice is nice. Uh, I really enjoyed the hike. Um, my legs are still feeling it. <laughs> my legs are still on fire. I stretched as much as I could. I feel so much better after my shower. I would have taken a shower here, but I am, like I said, I'm out of water. That was the most difficult hike I have ever done to date uh, and that makes I think hike number six and it was so enjoyable I am gonna buy hiking boots because that entire hike was big boulders and big rocks it you without that walking stick I probably would have rolled my ankle or broken my ankle or sprained it either one that walking stick really made a big difference I didn't need to one was fine um, my goodness what a challenge over six miles today guys and I like the hikes that are out and backs I don't like the hikes that loop around 
Um, I love the out and backs. Um, the app I was using, it's called, let me get it. The app I was using is called, I want to say All Trails. Is it All Trails? Let's see what it's called. Yep, it's called All Trails. You can get it off of uh, the Apple Store, but you do have to pay. You get a seven-day free trial, but it is extremely, extremely worth it. Uh, from the clip that I inserted um, that y'all saw, whatever trailhead you go to, it already maps it out for you. If you make a wrong turn, it's going to tell you, hey, wrong turn. Uh, you can clock your route. You can see as you're walking how many miles you go, how many miles you have uh, went so far. It shows your elevation, how many hours or minutes you've been on the trail. It shows everything. It's so detailed. That that app is so worth it. It's called All Trails. So for, avid, for those of you who are avid hikers, um, you probably already have it, but for those who don't know about it, I would definitely recommend that app. Like I said, you get seven day free trial and then you have to pay. I'm not sponsored in any way. I just, I love the app that much. I felt so much comfortable having that. Um, it's better than taking a picture. The picture works, but I like the app because you see your elevation gain, you see how many miles you have, you know, that you went and so you know how many miles you have to go. It tells you a lot about the trail. Um, it'll show you a preview of the trail. So if you want to see if you want to hike it, just hit pre pull up the trail, hit preview. It'll show you like a preview of the trail to show someone actually like, like a little dot walking the trail. You can see it. Um, it'll tell you before you even go to the trail. It'll tell you if it's easy, moderate, or hard. It'll tell you how many miles the trail is, how much elevation hike you have, or how much elevation, and what's the average time that people typically finish it. Like it is so detailed. It is so worth it. I'm so I learned that. I was watching a couple, I love, now I started watching hiking YouTubers. Uh, in addition to fitness YouTubers, I watch hiking YouTubers now. And uh, I got that from one of the hiking YouTubers. They use it. And I also got it off of reading the Google reviews. Somebody put that in their Google reviews. So I was really thankful for that. So yeah, that app was super clutch. Mmm. It tastes so good. I'm not trying to be funny. I think it's a combination of me mar um, cooking those tomatoes in that sriracha oil with that tahini, that paprika. Like, it has a nice aftertaste. Whoa, it's really, un it's good to eat all together, but the aftertaste is fantastic as well. Mmm. I don't know why I said that. It was kind of lame. Mm-hmm. I probably burned a little over 2,000 calories on that hike. I literally almost went through somebody's drive-thru. And I'm like, don't do it. Uh, you have food at home. You're going to cook. But for the rest of the day, I'm going to continue to stretch because my legs are still burning. Um, <laughs> it's burning. I can see how hiking can tear your knees up because going back down, like descending, because going up, like starting the hike, it's all ascending. A few flat, but mostly ascending or going over rocks and then going back down is all descending. So it's like all that on your knees, all of that, just all that. The, just stomping and your knees taking all those hits so i'm gonna definitely stretch out more tonight and i'm getting better at my breathing so i'm still in washington state and i love it i keep saying washington state i know i know just say washington i'm still in washington i'm just so i don't know why i say state because of dc but people don't say washington dc they just say dc so washington um i'm loving it so far um <laughs> I'm having a good time. Very, very nostalgic. So, 
yeah, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my dinner, but I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, the views, hanging out with me, hiking with me, um, to having a conversation over dinner. I, I love it. I, I appreciate you guys more than you know. I have the best community on YouTube, and each and every one of you are just freaking amazing. Thank you so much for being positive and humble, and I'll continue to say it until I can't say it no more. I have the best community on YouTube. I love you guys, but I'm out. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.